Good afternoon. For the record, today is March 25th, 2020. The time is 2 p.m. This is a meeting of the Public Service Commission of the District of Columbia being held via WebEx conference call. I'm Willie L. Phillips, Chairman of the Public Service Commission. Also participating via WebEx is Commissioner Richard Beverly and Commissioner Greer Gillis. Pursuant to Open Meeting, to the Open Meeting Act of 2010, the Commission scheduled this meeting to consider formal case matters that require Commission action. The proposed agenda for this meeting was posted on Monday, March 23rd, 2020. A recording of today's open meeting will be available on the Commission's website after the meeting concludes. Commissioner Beverly and Commissioner Gillis, are you prepared to vote and adopt the agenda? Commissioner Beverly? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Gillis? Yes. All in favor of adopting the agenda, please indicate by stating yes. Commissioner Beverly? Yes. Commissioner Gillis? Yes. And I vote yes, the agenda is adopted. Today, there are four action items before the commission. The matters are, number one, formal case number 1130 in the matter of the investigation into modernizing the energy delivery system for increased sustainability. This order designates members of the DC Power Path Pilot Project Governance Board, Governance Board and reconvenes the DC Power Path Pilot Project's working group to recommend to the commission whether individuals should be allowed to serve as members on the Governance Board. Number two, formal case number 1115 in the matter of Washington Gas Light Company's request for approval of a revised accelerated pipe replacement program formal case number 1142 in the matter of the merger of Altagas, LTD, and WGL Holdings, Inc., and formal case number 1154 in the matter of Washington Gas Light Company's application for approval of Project Pipes 2 plan. This order extends WGL's Project Pipes 1 plan and proposes a six-month procedural schedule for consideration of WGL's Project Pipes 2 plan. Number three, the next matter is also in formal case numbers 1115, 1142, 1154, and 1162. In the matter of the application of WGLs for, WGL for authority to increase existing rates and charges for natural gas service. This order denies OPC's motion to delay the WGL formal case number 1162 rate case proceeding denies AOBA's motion to consolidate formal case numbers 1115, 1142, and 1154 with the WGL rate case and determines that issues relating to WGL's project pipes one and two and Alta Gas's merger term 79 climate change will be resolved in separate proceedings. Lastly, this order grants the petition to intervene out of time of the Environmental Defense Fund. Number four, and docket number PEPIA-2019-01. Potomac Electric Power Company's request for approval of an independent account. This order grants PEPCO's request for approval of an independent accountant, S, B, and company to conduct a limited engagement review and directs PEPCO to file the limited engagement report no later than 90 days from the date of this order. All in favor of approving the recommended orders, please indicate by stating yes. Commissioner Beverly? Yes. And Commissioner Gillis? Yes. And I vote yes. The orders are approved. The next regular open meeting will be held on April 8, 2020 at 2 p.m. via WebEx. The proposed agenda for the meeting will be posted at least 48 hours before the announced meeting. There being nothing further, the commission now stands adjourned. Thank you. Everybody be safe.